Powder coating is really popular not only because it looks great, but also because it's so easy and durable. But did you know it's also really easy to customize colors simply by changing the base coat? This small block Chevy valve cover is a perfect example. The top coat is Eastwood Atomic Orange Powder. On this side, it's over white, but on this side, it's over the original chrome. Now let's show you how we did it. We started by screwing on our powder bottle, which should be about half full. Attach your air line and adjust your air pressure to about 5 to 10 PSI. When applying a second coat of powder, there are some tips to make sure you get good adhesion and appearance and avoid fish eyes. First, as an added precaution to remove any possible charge the part may have, we place it in the oven until it reached about 100 degrees. Once the part is heated, you can pull it out of the oven and begin spraying. Make sure you have the deflector on the gun as this will help the particles stick to the part. Another tip is to make sure you have the gun on the correct voltage setting while spraying. If you're spraying on large flat areas like the top of the valve cover, you can be on the high 25,000 volt setting. If you're spraying in the corners or in tight areas, then you want to be on the lower 15,000 volt setting. This is especially important when spraying over the top of a base coat. The dual voltage gun helps eliminate the Faraday cage effect which is basically an issue that arises in corners where the powder repels due to the charge. The Eastwood dual voltage gun allows you to easily adjust the voltage to prevent this from happening while giving you professional results. And here's another tip. It's always best to start in these tight areas, then move to the large flat areas after the corners are covered. Once the part is evenly covered, you can place it in the oven, which is preheated to 450 degrees. Just like the base coat, once the powder flows out or turns glossy, Turn the temperature down to 400 degrees and let it bake for another 20 minutes to completely cure. Once the valve cover is completely cured, you can remove it from the oven and let it cool down. The burnt orange on this side is where we sprayed the atomic orange powder over the original chrome finish. On this side is where we sprayed the atomic orange powder over the gloss white powder. We decided to try the same technique with an air cleaner. The base coat is also gloss white, but we used Rally Blue for the top coat. As you can see, adding a base coat can drastically change your colors, adding many more options for your powder coating projects. And powder coating is really easy to clean up. Simply blow off the gun with an air nozzle. Plus, if you make a mistake, you can blow up your part and start over. Much easier than if you get a run in your paint. Now for over 100 different powders, powder guns, ovens, heat lamps, high temp tape, plugs, and all the supplies you need to do the job right, visit eastwood.com today.